Well, we left uh, Hamilton Field on the night of December the 6th. Uh, we were part of the group of 12 B-17s that were going on our way to the Philippine Islands. And our first stop was in Hickam Field in Hawaii. And uh, after a 14 hour flight through the night, we came in the, the site of the Hawaiian Islands and uh, the first site of course was Diamond Head. And it was just, uh, the sun was just coming up. And uh, we were looking at uh, the sites there and uh, I was, in the uh, pilot's compartment with uh, 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 Lieutenant Schick, who was a flight surgeon that we were taking to the Philippine with us. And uh, he was uh, looking at all that. We saw the Diamond Head and the Royal Hawaiian uh, Hotel, the back of Wackakee Beach and things like that. And he told me, he said, you know, he said, I wouldn't take a million dollars for this flight. He was just enthused about it. but. Then all of a sudden, uh, I, well, I went back to the radio compartment to be with uh, uh, the radio people to look out, a, get a little bit better view out the side window. And all of a sudden, uh, three fighter planes went in the opposite direction, uh, past our, under our right wing. And uh, so anyhow, uh, the next thing I knew, well, the plastic canopy over the radio compartment just exploded. And uh, I looked out and said, well, what was this all about, you know? And here's one of the fighter planes were right on our tail. And, and uh, I think I judged what was about 30 yards away, maybe something like that. And you could, I could see the pilot moving around in the airplane that was that close. Anyhow, they were shooting at us, and and uh, we had installed armor plate on the back side of the radio compartment, and so uh, the bullets were coming through there, and uh, the, the soundproofing that we had, the, the cotton fibers in there, was just making the the the, uh, pilot, or the radio compartment just like it was snowing, and. All of a sudden, they hit the pyrotechnic flares that we had in the radio compartment and set them on fire, and they just became one big ball of fire in there. There were uh, the radio operator and the assistant radio operator went back towards the tail of the airplane. I rushed to the to the bomb bay to the pilot's compartment to uh, let them know what was happening. But in the process, uh, my hair got on fire and. And every, the fire was coming through over the door and into the palace compartment. So anyhow, he was having a hard time uh, getting the airplane down. And uh, since we were in the traffic uh, pattern for landing, it, uh, it finally got it on the ground. And uh, we rolled down the runway for a little while and then the airplane broke, broke in half. And I was in the fur, forward part of it tail stayed on the runway and we sort of uh, kept rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling off the runway up to the hangar line and that's where it stopped. And uh, Lieutenant Schick, the, the uh, a surgeon, uh, was hit in the leg as I found out later. I knew he was wounded but uh, he asked, he said, how do you get out of this thing? I says, well, you can go up the top hatch or out the lower hatch. He said, I'll go out the lower hatch. Well, I says, I'll follow you. So he got out, I followed him. But instead of being, I stayed with the airplane. Uh, these people were still strafing us as we were on the ground. I stayed down behind the wheel, a little thicker part of the airplane. He ran out and he was shot and killed. Uh, he was shot there. They hauled him to the hospital, but he died in the hospital, but he was hit on the runway. So that was our number one casualty in that thing. All the others on the, the, uh, the, the uh, bombardier was uh, major uh, uh, wounds to his leg. Uh, the navigator was shot through the ear. 
the crew chief was shot through the shoulder, radio operator was shot through the groin. Uh, I was just hit and grazed on the top of the head. And uh, the uh, pilot, co-pilot, and the uh, radio operator had no wounds whatsoever. They got through. That's because for the pilot and the co-pilot, they'd have probably both been killed if it hadn't been for the thick armor plate in back of their seats because uh, these things were coming through and ricocheting right off of that armor plate. Just many of them. So anyhow, that was, that's how we got on the ground. 